it's Di from Be Mommy with Style and today's video is a March Madness collaboration that I did with the ladies of YouTube Mommy Meetup and thanks to Dana from Ms. Diaper D for getting us all together. I will have a link list down below of all the different ladies participating and a different list of the videos that you can go watch all about March Madness. Also, happy St. Patrick's Day because today is also St. Patrick's Day, the day that I signed up to upload and originally I thought I would do kind of like a St. Patrick's Day craft, green food type of thing today but I saw this cute little guy at the Dollar Tree when I was there the other day and I couldn't pass it up so I thought I'm doing a March Madness collab I have to come up with a fun basketball craft slash game that the kids can do with this because it's just too perfect so I went to Google and googled basketball craft and the very first image that came up in Google images was exactly what I wanted something that used different party items that you would already have for your party to make this craft so I will put the link to that picture down below on Google Images and I will show you our DIY basketball craft game that you can entertain your kids with while you are watching the game. So here are the items we're going to use to put together our super simple DIY basketball craft and game. If you had older kids, they could probably do this easily on their own. If you have littles like I have, you probably definitely need to help them with the cutting and putting it together. But on a side note, I think that this would be a super cute idea for a party game if you had a little boy or girl that was having a basketball themed birthday party and it was a favor that all the kids could take with them as well because it's pretty inexpensive. So the only things you need are solo cups. You would probably already have these for your party anyway. Anyways, I happen to have ice blue on hand from our frozen party. I have these foam back stickers that I have left over from our Disney party and I just have a stiffened piece of paper that I'm going to be attaching those to and then I just have this basketball that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and it does bounce. It has a little bit of weight behind it too so make sure you put this in an area that you don't mind uh, balls being tossed and then I also have just this zip tie. So what I'm planning on doing is making my little backboard out of the foam sheets. I'm going to cut off the bottom of this so that the ball can get tossed and easily go through the bottom of it and then I'm going to hot glue and zip tie my cup to this and that is going to be our game. So Isabella is assisting me and she chose the blue as the backboard so we're just going to cut this in an arch and that is going to be the area where we attach the cup to. So I just took the cup and I pre-made holes here at the top and I pre-made one hole here at the bottom. I'm just going to cut around the bottom to make an opening. I also matched the holes here on the backboard so I'm going to attach that and put my zip tie through the back. Then I matched up the holes so I'm going to zip tie this to the back. So we're just going to cut through. So I've got my bottom cut off here and I've got my pre-made holes in the back so I'm just going to put my zip tie through here and I'm probably going to use some hot glue just to go ahead and attach it to make it extra secure. So we just got the cup attached to the backboard and I put the zip tie on there and also put a little bit of hot glue here at the sides to make it extra secure. And then on the back, the zip tie, I actually flattened it and taped it down so that way it wasn't puffing out. And I also added a little bit of fringe here to the bottom so the basketball can easily flow through the bottom. So I'm going to attach it here to the chair. I just tied some twine and double uh, looped it around. I'm going to tie this to the chair so the kids can play the basketball game. So I just have our basketball game hanging on a chair over here in one corner of the living room and we are ready to try it out with our basketball from the Dollar Tree. This was pretty much made with supplies I had on hand except for the basketball. So it pretty much cost me a dollar but if you had to go out and buy these supplies it would be just a few dollars and you could make multiple of these games for as many basketballs as you wanted to buy. And now we're ready to give it a try. Woo! Here we go. Woo! Works like a charm. <laughs> and if you're gonna use paper, you probably wanna reinforce the back. We reinforced it with tape and hot glue, but you could also put this on a stick somehow as well. We just used what we had, and it works. Ready? Here she goes, whoa. All right, try again. Get ready, get set, let it go. All right, try to get it in the cup. Let it go. <laughs> We'll work our we'll work our way back. Natalie's turn. All right, Natalie's turn. All right, Natalie's gonna try now. Go ahead, Natalie. <laughs> and there you go. That is our take on basketball. You walk up and stick it in there. All right. Get ready. Set. Hey, Bella, scoot back a little bit, honey. Ready. Try to do it from there. Try to do it from there. Toss it. <laughs> 
So I think I know what we'll be doing all afternoon. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Oh, that was way over. <laughs> Scoot back a little bit. Please, scoot back. All right, give it a try. Underhand. There you go. That was a pretty good throw.